As we know that the propeller and rudder enable the ship to move in a three-dimensional space. In other words, the captain alters the ship's orientation around its own center of gravity, giving it the necessary movements. Ship motions are defined by the six degrees of freedom that a ship, boat or any other craft can experience. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of basic ways a rigid object can move through a three-dimensional space. In other words, degrees of freedom defines the number of directions a body can move. Before understanding the ship motions, first let us get a clear picture of the reference axes that are used to define the ship's motion. The vertical or z-axis, also known as yaw axis, is an imaginary line running vertically through the ship and through its center of mass. The transverse or y-axis, also known as lateral axis or pitch axis, is an imaginary line running horizontally across the ship and through the center of mass. The longitudinal or x-axis, also known as roll axis, is an imaginary line running horizontally through the length of the ship, through its center of mass, and parallel to the waterline. The movements of the ship can be divided into two sets, rotational motion and translational motion. Rotational motion occurs if every particle in the body moves in a circle about a single line and a translational motion occurs if all points of a moving body move uniformly in the same line or direction. Pitch is referred to as the up and down rotation of the vessel about its transverse or y-axis. A deviation from normal on this axis is referred to as trim or out of trim. Rolling is the tilting rotation of the vessel about its longitudinal or x-axis. An offset or deviation from normal on this axis is referred to as list or heel. Yawing is defined as the turning rotation of a vessel about its vertical or z-axis. An offset or deviation from normal on this axis is referred to as deviation or set. Heave is the linear vertical or up and down motion of the ship. Excessive downward heave can swamp a ship. Swaying motion is the linear transverse or side to side motion of the vessel. Surge is the linear longitudinal bow and stern motion imparted by maritime conditions. These kinds of motions along the axis can sometimes be harmful to the ship and can result in stresses that act upon the hull. Panting refers to the continuous bellowing in and bellowing out nature of the ship's hull plating due to variable water pressure of waves. This effect is accentuated in the forward region when the ship surges headway through. The ship bow region is the most affected area where the entire vessel encounters the wave system for the first time. Although panting is still said to exist throughout the entire length of the hull, the effect dies away as the wave system at the bow starts losing its energy from the bow shoulder onwards. Pounding induces forces due to the slamming motion of the ship triggered by heaving or high pitching motions. This situation is further aggravated in case of empty or light ballasted conditions of the ship. Other than this, there are also wave induced stresses that the ship also has to face during transit. Stresses such as parametric rolling, sagging or hogging are such wave-induced stresses. 
Parametric rolling is a type of movement that is experienced only on the container ships. Parametric rolling is an unstable phenomenon which can quickly generate large roll angles that are coupled with significant pitch motions, leading to breaking of container lashing, loss of cargo, and in the worst case scenario, capsizing of the ship. If the vessel is heading against the wind and with the increase of the wind, the wave height will increase, which results in rolling of the vessel. Now, the wavelength reduces and the encounter period of waves by the ship also reduces. This result in decrease in the ship's speed and increase in the pitching angle along with rolling of the ship, where pitching period is equal to or half of that of the time taken to complete one roll. This leads to heavy rolling of the vessel, which can be up to 30 to 40 degrees on both sides. When the buoyancy amidships exceeds the weight due to loading or when the wave crest is at the midships, the ship will hog as a beam is supported at mid length and loaded at the end. In this condition, the overall weight is greatest near the bow and stern, with buoyancy being larger near midships. This has the effect of bending the structure in the other direction, placing the keel in compression and the deck in tension. If the weight amidships exceed the buoyancy or when the wave trough is at midships, the vessel will sag as a beam supported at an end and loaded at mid-length. It is fairly evident that this longitudinal bending condition is creating significant stresses in the structure termed bending stresses. 